Hey friends, welcome back to another video. I hope you are doing great. If you're new here, my name is Hayden Smith. I am a videographer and a photographer from Wellington, New Zealand. Let's roll the intro and crack into this video. So like I said in yesterday's video, I'm super keen on putting some more effort into my other passion which is photography. I want to develop my skills and my style and learn a lot of new things that I didn't know previously. So this morning I got into the car and went out to Titahi Bay which is about a 30 minute drive north of Wellington CBD. What I wanted to do was bring you guys behind the scenes and kind of talk to the camera while I was out shooting in these locations. But the problem was it was super windy today. It's pretty windy. So what I thought I'd do is sit down here in the office and kind of do a voiceover for this video. And of course the audio sounds a lot better here than outside. Outside it sounds like So the first place I went to was to the Titahi Bay Beach and I wanted to get a composition of the boat sheds with Mana Island in the background as well as a shot of the ocean cliffs to the left side of the bay. What I'm going to do is display the images that I captured as well as the settings that I used to take them in camera. And of course I'm using a very flat picture profile so that's why you you don't see a lot of color in the images. I spent about 10 minutes on the beach taking photographs and then I decided I'll jump back in the car and go to Fitirea Park. So I drove to the other side of Fitirea Park where they had built a new car park and I saw a kite surfer in the water so I decided to take a few photographs of that which was really awesome. The kite surfer was doing a whole bunch of jumps and different maneuvers so I thought I'd just spend five or ten minutes just taking a few photographs of that. At first the kite surfer was fairly far away and I was using the 24 to 105 f4 lens from Canon and I was zoomed right into 105 and the kite surfer was just a little dot on the screen um, but luckily the kite surfer turned around and came towards me so I could get a few more close-up shots. Um, I definitely want to invest in a 70 to 200 mil. The 24 to 105 works great but I definitely want to capture some more close-up and intimate shots. Even though I was fully zoomed in on the 24 to 105, there still is a lot of room around the kite surfer, so I definitely want to make the investment and buy a 70 to 200 millimeter. I don't know if I want to buy a f2.8 or an f4, probably the f2.8 so I can get some more light into the sensor, although I think I could get away with a um, f4 lens. While I was there I also took a few photos of the mouldy carving and a few other landscape shots, so I'll display those for you now. After that I jumped back into the car and went back to the other side of the park and I walked up a massive hill. I didn't really take any photographs when I got to the top of the hill but I did film a few video clips to show you what the view looked like from the top. So that was this morning's shoot. I was out for about an hour but I had loads of fun. It was great just to get out and kind of switch from my video mode and my brain to doing photography. So I've decided which photograph I want to edit in this video and the one that I chose was the composition of the boat sheds with Mana Island in the background as I think it's a really nice composition and the exposure is correct. So let's jump into Lightroom and start editing the photograph. So here's the photograph which I took down at the beach of the boat sheds. I want to create a very dramatic feeling to this image. Firstly I'm going to decrease the highlights to bring back the details in the sky. I'm going to be using Peter McKinnon's preset pack to help colour grade this photograph. So I'm going to use Mute Master. I'm going to play around with the contrast, whites and blacks to get the style I want to create. And I'm going to play around with the photograph's clarity and saturation a little bit. Now it's time to sharpen the image. Since I shoot in a flat picture profile, I need to bring back the sharpness to the image. I then will apply a lens correction and slightly adjust the distortion amount. I'll make sure the image is level and I'm going to add a little bit of grain as I want to give the photograph some texture. I'm going to play around with dehazing the image and changing the crop as well to my liking. It's time to add some vignetting to the image since I want a moody feeling. This also helps draw the viewer's eye into the image. I want to brighten up the boat sheds so I'm going to brush over them quickly and change a few settings in the exposure. I'll make some more final adjustments and here is our final edited image. Thank you for watching this episode. If you're new here be sure to subscribe and join our awesome community and I'll see you in the next one.